welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be building Ruben's crazy Zorb invention. Kids invent stuff. So Ruben's invention idea is a way to escape being shipwrecked. It's a motorised survival Zorb. To build Ruben's invention idea, we're going to use a Zorb ball and we'll create a cradle for it that we can mount an electric propeller onto along with a battery to power it and a motorised rudder. And we're going to make the whole thing collapsible so it can be packed away for emergencies. We bought a second-hand Zorb. Let's blow it up. So there's a bit of a safety problem with this type of Zorb. So what you do is you basically uh, get inside the thing before you inflate it. And you, so you undo the zip, you climb in, you then inflate it and it fills up with air inside and you zip it closed to keep all the air in. Now that's an issue because we breathe in, and we breathe in oxygen, and then when we breathe out, one of the things that we're breathing out is carbon dioxide. So what happens over time is these Zorb balls fill up with carbon dioxide instead of oxygen, which means that you steadily run out of air that you can breathe. So we're gonna to have to be really careful when we're testing this to make sure that we've actually got enough air and that we don't end up just suffocating whoever's testing the Zorb. So to make sure we've got enough air to breathe inside the Zorb, we've got this scuba diving tank. So we've got plenty of air to breathe. So we've got this aluminium which we're going to use to create a cradle for our Zorb to sit in and we're going to attach the motor and the rudder to it. Now we're going to make it out of strips of aluminium so that it can be taken apart, put in a rucksack and make it really portable. Ruth, what are you doing? I'm just putting a big nappy, like a big metal nappy, on a Zorb. So these are all the things needed to motorise Ruben's Zorb. So we've got here a propeller and motor, and that needs to be powered by a battery. Now this battery isn't waterproof, so we've got here a waterproof case for it. You might have recognised some of these things. We used some of these in our underwater dolphin build. Um, now we want to be able to steer the Zorb. So we're going to use a rudder and this is going to be controlled with our servo motors. You might have recognised these from last month's build from the robot trolley. And this will allow us to steer our Zorb. Girls with drills. and it will like cut and engrave plastic and wood and stuff and it's really cool it uses the laser to like accurately cut stuff so you can program it and then the laser will cut it This is a template for our rudder, which is going to go somewhere here around the propeller. Nice. And then we're going to cut it out of some nylon chopping board material, uh, so it's a bit more rigid. And then hopefully we'll have a nice blue rudder that can go on the back of our propeller to let us steer our Zorb as we drive it around. Great. Just turn around a minute, Sean. I think you might have a little bit of sawdust on you. Ruth, 
Ruth. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, got the motor, the rudder, uh, and then this. Battery box. Battery. And this. Servo motor with a lot of silicon on it. Beautiful box. Wires. With the servo motor in and lots of silicon sealant to stop the water getting in. Essentially, this big balloon thing that's going to go on top of it that could be ripped to shreds by this and needs to be protected somehow. Ruben wanted his invention to be portable. <laughs> Look at the lovely, lovely compact rudder and propeller assembly. Yeah, it's going to be portable. No one said it was going to be light. <laughs> you know when they have like the light version? Yeah, this isn't it. Ta-da! So we finished building Ruben's crazy survival Zorb invention. And all that's left to do now is take it to the sea to test it out. So join us next week when we'll be testing Ruben's invention idea. And a massive thank you to our sponsors for this challenge, Year of Engineering, the Holiday Makers Club, and Maze Creative. Thanks guys, and don't forget to join us next time to see what happens when we build another crazy kids invention. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff. You can see some of the crazy stuff we've built here and subscribe to our channel here.